Welcome to a new tutorial about Krita. In this case, I'm going to explain which is the difference between presets, brushes, on brush engines, and this kind of stuff. There is a bit of confusion uh, about these uh, subjects, and it's not really complicated. So, please stay with me and just uh, enjoy. The first thing we have uh, in Krita in the interface. Uh, is this little button which shows all the stable and experimental brass engines so we have a lot of choices a lot of brass engines to, to play with and they all create different effects and different styles so if we select for example uh, the pixel brass which is the, the common brush engine in all the application we see that we can test the brass inside this uh, little window that can be clear using this button. We can also apply a gradient based on the gradient which is in the interface just like this, we can change the gradient and we come back we can just again paint and see how the, the brush settings that we use here are affecting the brush stroke okay so what is a brush a brass is just all it is is the brass tip we when we talk about brushes we usually refer to the brass tip or the brass dab or brass nib so we have all these all different shapes that can be uh, used to make and test and see the difference so we can see how a different shape affects to the brass stroke appearance okay so it's um, very easy to add more brushes or delete brushes but we will talk about uh, that later so this is a brass and what is a preset so a preset is the combination of all these parameters stored in a single file that we can use and reuse again and again so if this is a brass then we have this little strip in the, in the top part and we have this which shows uh, oops, uh, with those um, the different presets um, why are they they different they are different because uh, they are using dynamics the brass dynamics changes the behavior of the brass stroke okay so we can have uh, something like this when we where we see all the dynamics that we are modifying to create the certain behavior so this is the main difference between brush this is a brush is only a shape that we use to produce the brush stroke that repeats along the path and this is the preset the old uh, combining settings to produce a certain behavior and the brass engines is a new concept creating Krita uh, it's just uh, like this one is a brass engine this one is a brush engine so we have a different brush engines to create different effects for example we can use the sketch brass to create uh, this uh, typical effect, typical sketch effect, and if we take a look of on the on the settings, are really different uh, from uh, another another brush engine like Pixel Brass, which is doesn't doesn't serve the, the same the same menus. Okay, so this is the the basic things about presets and brushes 
now imagine that uh, we have this uh, project and we start to just play with the with this these settings these old settings to create uh, something different because we want to have uh, something different with the scatter effect and uh, we can modify the scatter effect we can change uh, this for example we can add a texture we can uh, change the curve, the opacity curve, make more linear for example and it depends on the speed so we can start to see what happens we can invert this curve okay and then we have uh, some, something something like this okay we test in the canvas and we like we like the the result so we want to save it we can just uh, type a name just uh, for example test brush but not brush brush it okay and then save to presets but wait a moment so because uh, we can use this uh, little uh, square area to create a customized preview of our brush so if we paint something like this like the decided behavior of the preset and then we hit saved presets we are going to store all these values all these parameters inside the preset with this little preview so let's do it save to preset test preset is done and then we can find it just alphabetically in this place okay so if we put overall the, the image and stay quiet for a second test preset level appears and now we can add a tag for example testing okay so now we have this one add and if we search only for the testing voila there we have it or preset but where is stored this preset imagine you you don't want to to have it anymore and then you want to to delete it okay just delete the pr this preset but hey wait a moment <laughs> we had a mistake we want to recover okay uh, usually it will be uh, a problem because uh, deleting is a um, destructive action but in Krita is different because we use uh, something called black list okay so if we close Krita and then discard no and now we are going to go to our KDE folder and then share and then apps Krita and then we have something like this if we open then we see um, all the presets that I that I delete with a minute so I'm going to hide this okay so I have different tests that I've done okay okay so it will be this one so oops no so we now edit this with notepad oh notepad no because it's, uh, it's windows uh, open with um, text editor much better and we have something like this Do -do -do -do. It's a test press it 
that's a file. So what is uh, what is this? What is this? Okay. Start by the name, the name, the file. I think this uh, this could be enough. Okay, we delete it, and then we save it. And now start again, Krita. And let's see if the testing. And there you have it. The preset is alive again. So we can use this. Uh, uh, little text files to control how we uh, how we manage or or presets, and we can use also tagging to create uh, custom custom sets of our presets that can speed or work a lot. So okay, what about if we uh, want to delete this preset forever because uh, it's not uh, pretty good or we don't like it so we just want to to delete forever um, to make something like like this uh, type of destructive action so we are not going to be able to recover um, we can just uh, delete from here okay there is no test anymore but uh, we have to delete also uh, remember the the path that we used before that's it in the user kda ser apps krita we have something like paint presets folder so if we go inside we can see all the users presets or all the presets crea created by the user so you will search uh, just uh, do, 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 do. what is my preset uh, there is it there okay so you we delete and there is delete forever at least you don't uh, recover from from the trash paper which is uh, obviously the last place uh, where the preset is going to be after be delete forever. Uh, but anyway, this is the the way we use uh, blacklist and folders to manage all the presets.